Okay, so here's a new example, uh, again, using object-oriented programming. This one is a real estate listing. So let's say I've been hired by a realtor to uh, get some listings online. So um, yeah, I have a uh, real estate listing class with private attributes representing the MLS number. That's like a, an identifica identification number for a real estate listing, uh, a description of the property, the number of beds, the number of baths, uh, notice I use float for baths because sometimes it's like two and a half baths or something like that. And then um, the list price. So um, again, private attributes, which is the better way of doing things for now. I have hand coded the constructor. There's our constructor. So once again, uh, the parameters here, of course, always beginning with self. And then we have the uh, parameters for each of the five private attributes, the MLS code or MLS number, description, beds, baths, the listing price. Um, and then once they're in the door, all I have to do is reference each of those private attributes with the self-reference, just like that, the dot operator with the self-reference, and then dump them into the private data. Okay, so once again, the constructor is going to execute automatically when I create an object, when I create a real estate listing object, okay, uh, which I'm going to do down below in the main function, but we just haven't gotten there yet. Again, when you're coding a class, you're just kind of laying out a plan. You don't really have anything concrete yet. All you have is a plan. Okay, so that's the constructor. I've added a, a print record function to this class as well. I could have done that with the pizza, but I didn't. Um, I'm doing it here though, and so it's really just me. Um, you know, I'm, pardon me, I'm in here. I, I have access to the private data, so I can just print out the values straight from the private data. I don't have to go through properties or setters or anything like that. I did add properties and setters, don't get me wrong. I'm just not really using them in this program. Um, so, you know, I'll just run this real quickly. I've got a couple of, I've created a couple of uh, real estate listing objects. And um, this is what that print record function or print record method will do. Uh, you can see I've, you know, I have like a line with the listing number. That's an MLS number. Just using F strings, just old techniques that we've been using all along. Printing the description, the beds, the baths, and whatnot. Um, notice here, with this list price, I have a comma, comma separating the thousands. I had to do that here in the format. Like we've done this before with the two decimal places for money, but if you want the comma separators, then you, you have to include that as well in, the, in your formatting, but that's it. So this um, that's the functionality. And then I did add the properties, public properties, just for the sake of completion of this class. Um, again, I'm not using them in this program, but it's nice to have them in case you need them. Otherwise, that those private attributes, that private data is just locked up in the class and inaccessible to the outside world. So um, I have my public properties just in case, and then um, some public setters in case I need to maybe adjust the price or adjust the description or something like that. So I have the setters in here as well. Again, not using these either, but they're there in case I need to. Okay, so um, then here in the main function, I'm creating two real estate objects, R1 and R2. Uh, one of them is that uh, mid-century home in Palm Springs, California. Again, when you pass these values here, these are going to the constructor. I'm passing, what, five things, okay? The MLS code, the description, beds, baths, the listing price, okay, and those go straight here at the time the object is created. Those go straight here into the constructor's parameters. Again, order matters, data types matter. So I'm, I was very careful to pass them in this exact order. And then once they're in the door, those data are used to populate the private attributes one by one, as I've done here. Okay, so there's my uh, Palm Springs Oasis, and then I have another one, which is a penthouse in New York City. Again, passing those data to the constructor.
And then I just put in a call to print record. Again, I, I put the print functionality in the class this time. Okay, and so it's really easy to just put in a call to that print record function for each of those. And um, you see the records are printed out.